One of my Native American stories, which I was always fascinated by, uh, is you learn stories from all over the world. Virtually every culture has a trickster. And Native American culture is no different. Uh, the Native American's trickster is usually the coyote. And there is, amongst many different tribes, a lot of coyote stories. But there is only one story that I've ever come across that ever mentioned coyote's wife. Apparently, yes. And this is the one. Um, now, Coyote, being a trickster, loved to pull pranks on everyone else. And needless to say, this over time um, caused him to acquire a certain number of grudges and a few downright enemies. And because of this, Coyote realized that maybe it's time he actually went out and found some friends. And not being one to do anything by halfway measures, he decided to go with the biggest, baddest friend he could possibly find. And that was Grizzly Bear. <laughs> so, he goes out and hunts down Grizzly Bear and walks up to him and says, Grizzly Bear, my old friend, how are you doing? And Grizzly Bear goes, uh... Do I know you? So, of course we do. Of course you do. We've, we've been friends for many years. You, you have to come to my lodge, and, and I will make us make sure we have a special meal for you. So, Grizzly Bear says, um, "All right, uh, uh, tomorrow. Good. I'll be there." So now, Coyote goes out and catches two prairie chickens are among his favorites. And he takes them home and he hands them to his wife and says, wife, I have a special guest coming. I want you to prepare these. And Coyote's wife takes them and she thinks to herself, mm -hmm. I know how this is going to go. The two of them are going to be sitting and eating and, and joking and whatever all evening. And I'll be lucky if I get a bone to chew on. And so she decides it's time to teach Coyote his own lesson. So she takes the prairie chickens and says, all right, um, I, I will prepare these for you. And she starts pulling the feathers off. And she says to him, well, if I'm going to prepare these properly, I'm going to need a sharp my knife. And mine is very dull. Here, sharpen my knife for me and take it out behind the lodge because I don't want you getting all sorts of dust and everything in here. And so he does so, and as soon as he leaves, she finishes plucking the chickens and eats them both up. <laughs> and they were delicious. And just as she is finishing sweeping up the feathers, she sees Grizzly Bear coming up the pathway. And she walks to the, the front of the lodge and she meets him and says, Oh, Grizzly Bear, I'm glad you're here. Now we can start preparing our traditional family meal. And Grizzly Bear goes, um, Oh, well, what, what is that? He says, Well, in, in our household, the tradition is that when any guest comes to the door, we cut off one of their testicles and put it in the stew. <laughs> Perhaps both. We will see. And Grizzly Bear goes, um... <laughs> and Coyote's wife says, well, yes, you, you just wait here. In fact, uh, my husband is out behind the, the, uh, behind the lodge sharpening the knife as we speak. And Grizzly Bear goes, um... <laughs> and peers around the side of the lodge where Coyote is busily sharpening the knife. <laughs> And finally, he says, um, I think maybe we will visit another time. <laughs> and turns around and runs down the path. Now, Coyote is behind the lodge, and he can't quite make out what they're saying, but, but here's, here's them speaking. And then he sees Grizzly Bear running down the pathway. So he runs around to the front, and... Uh, he says, uh, uh, what, what happened? And, and his wife just shrugged and says, I don't know. I, I came to the front and then I had the prairie chickens and he grabbed both of them and ran away with them. 
And so now Coyote uh, starts chasing after Grizzly Bear and goes, Grizzly Bear, come back. We, we haven't had dinner yet. And <laughs> Grizzly Bear goes, um, I've decided I'm not hungry. Well, maybe, maybe sometime later. And uh, Coyote starts running after him even faster, waving his hands in the air, forgetting, of course, he's holding the knife. And he yells, Grizzly Bear, come back. We're, we're going to be cooking my favorite. Can't I have just one? <laughs> <laughs> and Grizzly Bear says, absolutely not. <laughs> and the last thing Coyote sees is this dust disappearing <laughs> into the distance. <laughs> and so he goes trudging back to the lodge. And, and that night, he is laying there, muttering to himself, says, I, I don't understand. I invited him here. I go out and I get this special food. And he takes it and he just runs away with it. I, I, I don't understand what's going on. And beside him, <coughs> Coyote's wife just lays there in the darkness, saying nothing, <laughs> staring at the ceiling and smiling to herself, having just shown that even the trickster can be had. Yay. Yay.